Today we're going to look at how vendor contract performance can influence future considerations for that vendor. There's three main parts to this process. There's a project contract. Once this has been approved, a contract closeout business process will be automatically created. The contract and vendor information will be auto-populated into that closeout. The closeout ratings will be given to that vendor based on his contract performance. And once this contract closeout business process is approved, a new entry will be made in that vendor's line item list for contract history. Here we can see the contract formation business process at the top left. Upon approval for that contract to be created, an auto creation will take place and will initiate the contract closeout business process. The information will be transferred into that upper form and the line items for that contract closeout. Once the contract closeout business process is approved, a new line item will be created in that vendor's contract history tab of their vendor form. All the information from that contract closeout will be transferred into that line item. So let's see how this looks in the software. So here we have the contract business process already in the approval stage. We have all the contract information as well as the vendor information in the upper form. We also have contract information in the line items which references the cost code attached to that contract. So if we go ahead and select a workflow action to approve this contract, once the contract is approved, it will auto-create a contract closeout business process as we saw in that workflow diagram. The vendor contract closeout business process was auto-created from the completion of a contract business process. So here's the contract information at the top. There's also the vendor information and the ratings which have been given to that vendor. So here we gave ratings for each of the six fields and an overall rating. We also have the cost codes from the contract which have been carried through to this business process. So when we approve this contract closeout, a line item will be created in the vendor list. So here we have that vendor. As we can see, the line item was created. All the information from that contract closeout has been carried over into the line item. So when we scroll over, we can see those six evaluations as well as the overall. We also have the cost code information and the project name and number. The contract closeout line items will be sortable in the vendor list. It can be used to shortlist the vendor list for a request for bid based on previous work experience with that contractor. For more information, please feel free to contact Emerald Associates.